Hello everyone, welcome to the Engineering Projects YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will discuss about SQL Any and All Operator, which is used with WHERE or HAVING clause. The Any operator return true if any of the subquery value meet some kind of condition and the all operator return true if all the subquery values meet the certain condition whatever the condition it's depend upon you like you want to retrieve the data where subquery have a specific condition in my previous video tutorial we have used having clause to check subquery either it is true or false if it's true then the whole SQL statement get executed and if it's false then that is neglected like here in this database I have two table uh, one is table one and second is city and click on new query to generate a random SQL where I will use any and all operator to perform some kind of uh, execution in which return I will get some values either it is by any operator and either it is by all operator but remember that these are two applicable with only having and where clause okay uh, let's extract all the data from the data uh, table first of all and then we will apply subquery on that I will say uh, select all the records from the table 1 so here select tariff from dbo dot table underscore 1 remember one thing more it should be on the current database okay and now execute so it will return me all the records which are available in this table now what I will do I will process some kind of condition where uh, student age is greater than 22 and execute so I have filtered record and now I will say 23 and you will see that now the 23 value will be uh, neglected and all the records which are meeting the criteria is returned in the result now I will apply an other condition like any okay so any is the keyword any now uh, I will say I need a subquery select a specific uh, column which is student h and uh, here is that from dbo dot table one where another condition applied and that is uh, uh, I will say where student name is equal genie okay and now execute so it should return me the error okay uh, what we have to do we will say where student age is equal any and uh, here we will select the student age where name is like this and now execute so we have this record where student uh, we select student age from table one where student name is this so it's give me all the records because its statement is true now I will say I will need this name execute and it's return me two values okay uh, first value is equal to this whatever the student age is here it's represented over here and now uh, we will go for 
the all the all operator return true if all subqueries value meet the certain condition okay uh, i will say i need all the data from table one where the student or student id something like that i will say where student id is equal all and uh, select student id from table one where the student name is like this and now execute so it's return me only the one bracket and if i will say this it will return me all the data because uh, it's not satisfying the data so in return of that all the data is received okay i will say i need this so it's return me not uh, i will say to all the records found so basically this is uh, used whenever you have sub queries and you want to process a major query behalf of the sub query then you used all and any operator to get either true or false or you can also use this in the existing record scenario where you want to check that either we have uh, the data already inserted or not i hope this video tutorial is informative if you have any kind of question regarding this do comment below this video and don't forget to subscribe the engineering projects youtube channel to get more amazing video tutorials regarding development take care bye bye have fun